Hi, I'm William Tenholder, and I welcome you to my Masters 2000 series. And as you know, I've been playing for most of my life. You know, I was studying the books when I was seven years old, and I've been playing for over 55 years. Certainly, it is a complicated game, but we have ways to make it simple. So let's take a look at this. Uh, it is... The Rip Attack on the King Pawn. I'm calling this the Rip, R-I-P, Ripped Attack. So, you know, many of you do not play these types of modern openings because you're used to, at all levels, you're used to a certain line that you've memorized. But look at this, it is a beautiful modern game. And uh, so, with the H pawn, I call this the rip attack, on, so we you know, are not battling directly, we are battling all around, and then our armies will prevail. So there's the beauty of the H pawn. We have a direct attack on the queen, and now we're going to make it very difficult. Now the queen is not in a place that was chosen by the, the, the white pieces, the queen. No, black is dictating, right? So it's a beautiful setup because there's nothing they can really do about it. And uh, yeah, so this is, all of these moves are what I call the rip attack on the king pawn game. And you see they've pushed their pieces a little bit too far in, in some spots. Now we offer a uh, queen exchange, but they don't want to exchange. Uh, and this gives us now the benefits of attacking the queen till it has to go right back. And now our queen and pieces are in a position to execute the total annihilation of the white king side and so we do the rip procedure we infiltrate and we force the queen to take the knight and the pawn on h4 would take the queen and you know it's called the rip attack because all we can do is say rest in peace i'm william tenholder and i love chess